Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another Less Action More Figures video. Today I'm going to be walking you through some tips that I wish I knew before I started collecting Van Presto Dragon Ball figures. So these tips are pretty straightforward, but some of them are pretty useful. So without any delay, let's get down to it and, and give you some of these tips to help you save money and build the best collection possible. First tip I want to give you is to make sure that when you're buying figurines, if you're going to be displaying them next to each other, to buy in the same line. And what I mean by that is, with Ben Presto figurines, there's a lot of different creators and sculptors there creating figures, and a lot of them have different sizes. So in one line, a Goku might be bigger than a Vegeta in another line. And this can look really weird when you put them next to each other um, if they are the wrong size. So an example of this is one I just uh, you know, recently reviewed, Vegito, right? He's a pretty big, hefty figure. Um, when you put him next to, say, a Vegeta from a different line, you can see there's quite a, quite a massive size difference. So this is kind of, um, kind of looks strange when they're next to each other. So if you're going to be displaying them, like I said, I recommend that you um, ensure that they're from the same line, or at least you do your measurements uh, beforehand. All right, um, and that's very important. If you're not displaying them next to each other, it doesn't really matter. Um, the second thing I want to mention to you is to uh, think of the pose. Now, when I was talking earlier about the Goku Black figure, I did this in a review, um, you know, I said that I love this figure, which I do, like the sculpting and everything is great, the hair is great, pose is, is okay. Um, the one thing I want you to keep in mind when you're buying figures is where you're going to be displaying them. This displayed on a low shelf is not a great figure because you're really going to be looking at it from above, right? And you can't really see much from above. On a higher shelf, where you can kind of come up and you can kind of get, get a good look at his face, this is a much better figure. Um, so I'd recommend it for that purpose. So keep in mind where you're going to be placing it and what the pose is because you might be disappointed when you take it out of the box and you realize that when it's on the shelf, you know, you're looking at the top of his head, right? So certainly keep that in mind. Um, otherwise, like I said, you're going to end up with some, some figures that you don't like. Um, so that goes into my next tip. Um, and that is to size up. So I mentioned earlier, you know, about the different lines. If you aren't going to stick to lines, and I understand why some people wouldn't want to just, you know, buy all from the same creator, make sure you measure them up, right? So when I do video reviews, I, I measure figures to show you their height. At the very least, just make sure they're similar in height or they're going to match. I'm not a big stickler if, say, um, one figure is, is not proportionate completely, but as long as they're in the same realm, I think you'll be happy. At least I will be. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Next tip we're going to jump into is don't judge a figure by its box. So again, in a previous review of the Vegito, I mentioned this box on the figure doesn't look very good, um, but he looks really cool when you take him out of the box. And that's kind of a trend that you'll notice um, if you're looking at a lot of these boxes on the store shelves. They use a lot of, you could say pre-production or just like the original figurines that weren't completely um, two size. The other thing is, these are really close-up shots, and you're probably not going to be looking at a, at a figure this close all the time, or at least I hope you're not. So if there are little things that annoy you about it, you might not notice it when it's from afar. So I would give figures a chance, even if the box looks bad. Um, this is not a universal rule. I, I've seen some figures that straight up I just don't like in the box, and I don't like in person too. Um, that's why I do video reviews for you, so you can see which ones to buy. So just keep in mind, the general rule of thumb, if the box doesn't look good, it doesn't mean the figure's not good. So, you know, give it a chance. Um, next, um, actually kind of go lo goes along with this. Um, next I want to talk about when you're buying figures, um, to make sure you buy them from a reputable source. Um, you know, there's plenty of places you can buy figures online, but uh, you've got to be afraid, uh, or careful I should say. You should be afraid actually. You should be afraid of counterfeits, and you should be afraid of fakes. Um, so if you're buying them from you know, EB Games, GameStop, you're safe. If you're buying them from you know, retailers like Big Bad Toy Store um, or many other online retailers that can share, you're safe. Um, if you're buying them from Amazon or eBay, there's a risk, right? So you know, general rule of thumb I have is if the figure is shipping from China, probably avoid it. Um, there's a good chance it could be a knockoff. When you get it, you'll realize it's not great. Um, if it's shipping from Japan, you're safe. I mean, generally, just stick to places where they have, you know, really positive reviews. If it's got some negative reviews, chances are it could be, you know, showing fake figures. One way to know for sure that you got a fake is generally the real ones would have a, um, if it's in focus there, 
is the uh, sticker of authentic authenticity. I have a hard time saying that word right now. Um, if it has that, you, you're probably safe. Otherwise, you know what? You can tell it's a fake by looking at it if it doesn't look right. And if it does look right and it happens to be a fake, well, there you go. I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? As long as you're happy and you enjoy the figure. Um, next thing I want to talk about is when you see a figure you want to get. So with these figures, it's very important to buy them early because lots of times they'll sell out and then the price will skyrocket. Um, you know, I know there's been a few figurines in the past that I've kind of been humming and hawing about and I didn't pre-order. And then I realized later on that the price was now double because they're selling on eBay because they were sold in limited, you know, limited stock. So I will um, recommend to you that if you see figures you like, pre-order them as much as possible. A lot of retailers allow you to cancel a pre-order later on if you decide you don't want it. Um, or you can you know, sell it again online and get you know, near face value if, if it's still a sealed box. But this just allows you to make sure you get the figures that you want and you're not going to be paying really, really high prices later on down the road. So, you know, to emphasize it, pre-order, 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 pre-order as many as you want, as many as you think you might want, and then decide later on, you know, whether you want to do it. Um, you know, and lastly, you know, the last tip I have for you today is to do your research. So, you know, the reason why I do a lot of these video reviews is to prevent you from making some of the mistakes that I've made. Um, you know, I've bought some figures in the past, let's say that Gohan Super Saiyan 2, <laughs> that I wasn't a big fan of once I took it out of the box. And it's really, it's really disappointing because once you do open it up, there is no return policy, of course, and then you have to go and sell it online. And, you know, some other retailers may have already realized it's not a great figure and it might be hard to sell online. So, do your research. You know, scope out video reviews. Um, like I said, I do a bunch of video reviews. You can see those. There's a lot of other um, YouTubers that do video reviews. Use your resources. Um, scope out some figures. If people recommend it online with YouTube videos, you know, chances are it's a good figure. Um, very few times do I see people positively reviewing a negative figure. But, you know, do your research. You know, it's going to make your dollars go farther. It's going to make you happier with the decisions that you make. Um, there's really no reason not to. So those are those are my tips for getting started building a you know a Ben Presto Dragon Ball um, collection. The things that, like I said, I really wish I would have known ahead of time, and they'll help you make good decisions and avoid some figures that you'll you'll hate looking at because you just don't like them. If you have any questions about any of these tips, or if you have any questions about building a collection, you know feel free to send me a message on Instagram, uh, post in the YouTube comments. Um, definitely love hearing from you. We'll answer any questions I have. Other than that, please subscribe. Um, so you can see all of the other video reviews I do uh, for new figurines that are coming out and some old ones that I built in my collection. And other than that, thanks for watching another Less Action, More Figures uh, video. And we will talk to you very soon. Peace.